Hello, this is Tim from Animation Z Frog, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to texture a minifigure in Blender. So this is useful because sometimes you're probably going to come across things that you're going to want to do differently than the way Eldraw has minifigures. Eldraw has a lot of minifigures, but when if you're making a movie or something, you're probably going to want to make your own custom ones or whatever, change up one. So I'm going to show you how to texture a minifigure yourself. So first thing we got to do is we got to go to Bricksmith and we have to create a mini like a blank minifigure. So I'm going to go over here to model and say insert minifigure. Insert a minifigure. And this is basically what we're going to want to have. The colors honestly don't matter because those are easily changed within Blender. But you want the minifigure head with the solid stud. Uh, just a regular minifig torso it's near the top. And regular arms, legs, whatever. Hands are usually yellow. You can just leave them that way. That's a good color. Head's usually yellow too. I picked a light color for the body and arms because that way it's easier to... Um, rig the minifigure. So I'll say insert minifigure now I have to come over here to file contents and just hit delete on your keyboard, delete the extra um, extra thing there otherwise Bricksmith won't know how to um, not Bricksmith, Blender won't know how to import it and it will import it as nothing. So save this guy let's save it on the desktop Say it as Hector. Why? I don't know. Just came to me. Okay, so here's Hector. Now we're gonna come over to Blender and we're gonna say File Import Eldra. Now, if you don't have this option here, you need to add an add-on to Blender. And I have a tutorial for how to use one I use, but there's other ones out there. So you come over here, find it. I'm going to check some things over here. Scales 0.05. Don't bevel the edges. Alright. And there's Hector. Now, one thing we need to do right quick is select this cross shape thing and hit X to delete it. And we'll just hit B for box select. Select all Hector. And I'm going to hit 1 front view and slide them back up. There we go. If you don't delete that little cross thing, the thing that every all of Hector was parented to that cross shaped thing, the X shaped thing. And so if you don't um, delete it, weird things will happen later on when you're trying to parent Hector to his armature.